Hello and welcome to GXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is autopilot and how it controls an aircraft. What is an autopilot? The autopilot is a system which is used to control an aircraft with little or no inputs from the pilot. When the autopilot is engaged, it is responsible for keeping the aircraft stable on all the three axes. It may also be responsible for guiding the aircraft over particular waypoints. The autopilot reduces a pilot's workload, which is extremely helpful in long distance flights, and also assists in flying the aircraft safely, especially in rough weather. So if there is any disturbance in roll, pitch or yaw, the autopilot is responsible to bring the aircraft back to its original attitude. The autopilot can also maneuver an aircraft over a particular flight plan with the assistance of the control surfaces. After the autopilot is turned on, the pilots are responsible for monitoring the operation of the autopilot. How does the autopilot function? In small aircraft, the autopilot is coupled with the flight controls directly. Here, the autopilot is mainly responsible in keeping the aircraft stable. If there are any disturbances, the autopilot will deflect the control surfaces as required to bring the aircraft back to its original attitude. In bigger aircraft, the autopilot will be coupled with the flight control computers, the navigation computers, and even with the auto thrust system. The autopilot is responsible to keep the aircraft stable on all the three axes in case of any disturbances during flight. It will detect a disturbance based on changes in airspeed, the attitude, or the height of the aircraft. The autopilot will take corrective action and bring the aircraft back to its original flight profile by sending information to different flight control computers. The autopilot is also responsible for guiding the aircraft over a particular route. This pre-planned route or flight plan would have been inserted by the pilots in the autopilot computer. The autopilot uses the information from the navigation computers to determine the aircraft's position and to adjust the direction or altitude at which the aircraft is required to fly. This is done by sending information to different flight control computers to move different flight control surfaces. So the pilots only need to monitor the functioning of the autopilot. The autopilot may also be coupled with the auto thrust function. The auto thrust function is used to adjust the engine's thrust for increasing or decreasing the aircraft's speed. This is extremely helpful for performing an auto land with the help of an instrument landing system or ILS. Here the autopilot will control the aircraft to capture the localizer and the glide slope beams and the auto thrust will adjust the speed to maintain the correct approach speed. The modes of operation of the autopilot. The autopilot can be operated in two modes, manual mode and automatic mode. In manual mode, the pilot needs to continuously provide inputs such as the heading, the altitude, or the speed at which the aircraft needs to fly. These inputs will be sent to the autopilot and the autothrust computers, which will control the aircraft accordingly. The pilots will receive these instructions from the ATC. During flight, these inputs will be used for short duration only. For most of the flight time, the automatic mode is used. In automatic mode, the flight plan which was inserted 
into the autopilot computers are used as reference. The flight plan will have information such as the heading, the altitude and the speed at which the aircraft should fly. This information are taken by the autopilot and the autothrust system and used to guide the aircraft. Now the pilots just have to monitor the operation of the autopilot and take action if any faults occur. So let's see how to monitor the operation of the autopilot. How to monitor the autopilot operation? After the autopilot is engaged, it will inform the pilots on how the aircraft is being flown through the flight mode annunciator or the FMA. The FMA is located on the top of the primary flight display or PFD and is something that the pilots should monitor throughout the entire duration of the flight along with the information on the PFD and the navigation display. So that's all for my video on the autopilot. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.